Hey everyone, it's Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I want to go over how to solve tube feeding calculations. And as always, whenever you get done watching this YouTube video, you can access the free quiz that will give you more practice on these calculations. So let's get started. In this calculations video, we're going to solve different types of tube feeding problems you may encounter on your exam. So I'm going to walk you step by step how to solve problems that require you to figure out how much water is needed to dilute the feeding formula, along with how to calculate that total volume that you're going to have to administer to the patient and how much time it will take for that tube feeding to be administered. Now, as I do that, we're going to be using a specific formula to help us do that. Plus, I'm going to be using some dimensional analysis to help us solve for some of these answers. So if you're not familiar with dimensional analysis, I really recommend that you check out the other videos in this dosage and calculation series. So what is a tube feeding? Well, it's just as the name says. It's a tube that is going to deliver nutrients nutrition to your patient because they need some help getting some nutrition. And this can be done various ways. One way is through a nasogastric tube. Hence, we call it naso because it's going to go up through the nose. And a type of nasogastric tube is like a Dobhoff tube. So it goes up through the nose, down through the throat, and then it sets in the stomach and we can deliver formula to that patient. Also, it can be administered through a peg tube. And this is a tube where a surgical incision has been made through the skin and a tube enters into the stomach through that route. So to help us solve some of these problems, we need to remember this certain formula. So I really recommend you commit this formula to memory and how you set it up, it will be milliliters in the formula can over X equals the strength ordered. So now let's look at our first problem. And it says the patient is ordered Jevity 1.2 cal. You're supplied with a can of Jevity that contains 237 milliliters of formula. The doctor orders the tube feeding to be administered at half strength at a rate of 60 milliliters per hour. What is the total volume of formula that will be administered? So the very first thing what you want to do is you want to look at what the problem is asking you. And this problem is specifically asking for the total volume of formula that will be administered. So you need to look in your problem, see what you need to pull out of that problem to do your calculation. And remember, a lot of problems are going to give you information that you really don't need. They're called distractors. So what's important in this scenario is the amount of formula that's in that Jevity can, which is 230 milliliters and the strength that the doctor has ordered. We're not really concerned about the 60 milliliters per hour to help us calculate that total volume formula. So that's really our distractor. So since we already know what we're solving for and the information we need to solve that, we're ready to use that formula. So we're going to set our formula up with milliliters in the can. It told us that there was 237 milliliters in that can of Jevity. And we're going to put that over X. And then we have the strength and it told us it was half a strength. So we're going to put that like that. Now we are ready to solve. So to solve, we're going to multiply everything across from each other. So 237 times two is 474. So we have milliliters and X times one is one X. Now we have to finish solving. So we need to get rid of this one because we're solving for X. So we're going to divide by one that cancels out one. We're going to also do that over here on this side. And then whenever we calculate that out, we get 474 milliliters equals X. And this is our total volume. So 474 milliliters is the total volume that's going to be administered to this patient. Now let's look at our next problem. It says the patient has ordered Jevity 1.2 cal. You're supplied with a can of Jevity that contains 237 milliliters of formula. The doctor orders the tube feeding to be administered at half strength at a rate of 60 milliliters per hour. How much water will you add to dilute the tube feeding formula as prescribed? 
So this problem is wanting to know how much water we're going to add to that tube feeding formula to meet the specifications that the doctor has ordered. So that is very important to know. Now what other information do we need to know in this scenario to help us solve for that? Well, we need to know how much this can contains in it, which it contains 237 milliliters, and what the ordered strength is, which is half strength. So since we already know what we're solving for, we're ready to set up our formula. So we're gonna use this formula. Our can contains 237 milliliters, and we're solving for X. And we're gonna put the strength over here, it's half strength. So we're going to multiply everything across from each other. So 237 times two is 474. So we get 474 milliliters. And then X times one is one X. Now we need to get rid of that one. So we're gonna divide everything. What we do on this side, we have to do over here. So whenever you solve that out, you get 474 milliliters equals X. Now this is the total volume, but our problem's not asking for the total volume. We need to know the amount of water. Well, how are we gonna do that? How are we gonna figure that out? Well, since we already know that our can contains 237 mLs, we know that our total volume is gonna be 474 mLs. So what we're gonna do is we're going to subtract 474 from the, from the volume in the can. So it's 237. So 474 minus 237 equals 237 mLs. And this is milliliters of water that's going to be added to that, for, that feeding formula to dilute it based on what the physician ordered. Now let's look at our next problem. It says the patient is ordered Glucerna 1.5 cal. You're supplied with a can of Glucerna that contains 237 mLs of formula. The doctor orders the tube feeding to be administered at one fourth strength at a rate of 50 mLs per hour. How much water will you add to dilute the tube feeding formula as prescribed? So again, we need to ask ourselves, what are we solving for? Well, this problem wants to know how much water we're gonna to add to that feeding formula to dilute it. So what important information do we need to pull out of this scenario? Well, we need to know how much is in a can of Glucerna that we're supplied with, and it's 237 mLs. And we need to know that strength, and it's 1 fourth strength. Now, distractor is that rate of 50 mLs per hour. We're not really concerned with that. It's important, but it's not what we need to solve this problem. So we pulled from that scenario what we need to solve this problem. So now we're ready to plug into our formula. So we're gonna put how much milliliters was in that Glucerna can, and it told us there was 237 milliliters. And we're solving for X, because remember that helps us solve for our total volume. And then we have this strength, and the strength is 1 fourth. So let's figure out our total volume. Then once we figure out total volume, we can subtract that amount from how much is originally in this can, and then we get the amount of water we need. So we're going to multiply everything across from each other. So 237 times 4 is 948. So we get 948 milliliters and then x times one equals one x. And then we need to get rid of that one, so we're going to divide everything that cancels that out over there, leaving us just with x. Then we, what we did over here on this side, we gotta do over here. So when you work that out um, and divide that, you get 948 mLs equals x, which is our total volume. But our question doesn't wanna to know total volume. It wants to know the amount of water we need to dilute this feeding formula. So we're gonna take 948 and subtract it from 237 milliliters. And we get 711 milliliters of water that we're gonna to need to dilute this tube feeding formula to meet the parameters that the physician has given us. Now let's look at our next problem. It says the MD orders Glucerna via the patient's nasogastric tube. The formula is to be administered at 3 4 strength at a rate of 60 mLs per hour. You're supplied with a can of Glucerna that contains 237 mLs. How long will it take to administer this tube feeding formula? 
So this problem wants to know how long it's going to take to administer this specific tube feeding formula. So first, what we're gonna to have to do is calculate the total volume. And again, the total volume is the amount that is in that tube feeding formula can, plus if we have to dilute it with water. So that's our total volume. So we need to know what we're supplied with. So the can of Glucerna, and it tells us it's a 237 ml can. And then we need to know the strength of how this tube feeding is gonna be administered. So we need to do a 3 4 strength. So those two things are very important. Now, when we solve for that, we're gonna to have to go and we're gonna to have to look at the rate, how this physician wants this to be administered to this patient. And it tells us that we need to give it at a rate of 60 mLs per hour. So based on everything we pulled out of that scenario, we know that this is going to be a two-step problem because first we have to solve for that total volume. And this is where this formula is gonna come in handy. Then we're gonna take that answer and then we're going to apply it to the rate and see how long it's going to take to administer that amount based on this rate the physician ordered. So let's start with our formula first. So milliliters in can, it was 237 milliliters. And we're solving for the total volume, so that's over x. And the strength is 3 fourths, so we're gonna put that over here. And we're gonna multiply everything across from each other. So 237 times four is 948 milliliters. And then x times three is three x. Now we gotta get rid of that three because we wanna solve for x. So we're gonna divide, that cancels that out. What we did over here, we have to do over here. So 948 divided by three is 316 mLs. And that equals our total volume. So that's the total amount that's going to be given to that patient. That includes um, the formula amount that's in that can, plus that water we added to it to equal that 3 4 strength. Now let's solve for infusion time. So what we're gonna do is we're going to take our total volume and this is where we're setting up with like dimensional analysis. So we're gonna do 316 mLs over one times our rate. That's where our rate comes in handy. So it's 60 mLs, so 60 mLs per hour. Okay, mLs cancels out, we're figuring out our time. So 316 times one is 316. And then one times 60 is 60. So 316 divided by 60 is 5.2666, repeating. And I'm gonna round to 5.27. Always round how your program wants you to round. So this tells us that we have 5.27 hours. Well, we've got to take that a step further. We know it's going to take us five hours, but this 0.27 is in hours. We need to really convert this to minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and write five hours right here. I need to convert this leftover hours to minutes. Let's figure that out. So we're going to take 0 0.27 because that's our leftover from the hours and that's hours over one times, we know that one hour equals 60 minutes. So we're converting that to minutes. Hours cancels out and 0.27 times 60 is 16.2 minutes. So we're gonna round to our nearest whole number. So it's gonna be 16 minutes. So our answer is that it's going to take five hours and 16 minutes to infuse this total volume based on this rate that the physician ordered. Okay, so that wraps up this video on how to solve for tube feeding calculations. And don't forget to access the free quiz that will give you more practice and to check out the other videos in this dosage and calculation series.